Hey guys, do you know what this is? This is what we in the industry call garbage. That's what that's good for. This is the power jack that we purchased less than two years ago. It's dead, Jim. Deader than a red-shirted Star Trek guy. You know what this is? This is incredibly cool. This is a hydraulic jack. It was fashioned by Ronnie Dennis Airstream Nuts and Bolts. It's the only one that's ever been made for a travel trailer in this way. First off, Quadra Manufacturing makes the tongue jack. It's a, it's a hydraulic tongue jack. My dad owns a Class C, and when he purchased his Class C, it did not have a leveling system or stabilizing system with it. So he found this company called Quadra Manufacturing that makes this hydraulic leveling systems for Class A's and Class C's. We purchased that kit and installed it on his Class C. I was intrigued by it. It's a, basically an electric hydraulic pump that powers a cylinder. So I was doing some research on just their product in general and noticed that they sell a tongue jack. And I thought, well, it's pretty neat. It wasn't exactly able to be fit onto an Airstream, but I contacted the company and I said, hey, would you guys be willing to work with me on retrofitting one of these to fit an Airstream? I can give you the measurements and the specifications and the layout if you'll just build the cylinder. And they were like, sure, we'll be happy to. So we worked back and forth for about a month. They sent me a hydraulic jack that they had built specifically for an Airstream. Uh, kind of the difference between what they sell commercially and what we're using on the Airstream is the commercially available one has the pump actually mounted to the hydraulic cylinder. So it looks very similar to a traditional tongue jack. You've got this cylinder and you've got this big box that's mounted on the front of it with a switch that goes up and down. So the pump is mounted right there. Well, on an Airstream, because you have the propane tank cover and everybody wants to be able to lower the tailgate, you couldn't have the pump housing actually mounted on there. So we had to kind of figure out a way to remotely mount the pump to the trailer. So they were willing to give us longer hoses so we could do it. And then what we've found is that you can mount the pump inside an empty battery box. With Airstream travel trailers, in the front of the trailer, you have a box that sort of resides between the propane tanks and the front edge of the trailer. This box in modern Airstreams is used for battery storage typically. We switched to solar recently, and our batteries in our trailer anyway were stored in these boxes. We now have four lithium house batteries. They reside inside our trailer beneath the couch. So for us, this front box was just used for extra storage. Ronnie modified our original storage box with an extender ring for this project. So now inside this box, you can see a pump. This is the hydraulic pump. And I know that some of you are going to ask, what happens if this pump fails? They warranty the cylinders for a lifetime. Everybody's going to ask, well, what's the fail rate? When's it going to fail? How's it going to fail? Is it going to fail? Well, to be honest, th this jack is one. There's, it's the only one ever been made for an Airstream. The same cylinders are used on Class A's and that type of stuff, but I mean, we're very much in a prototype realm of you know how long it's gonna last. The history of the product says that under Class A's, under Class C's, under heavier use than we're ever gonna give it, they last for years and years and years and years and years to the point that the company gives it a lifetime warranty. Even though this is the only one that's ever been built, I don't see there being an increased fail rate from the current use that the company manufactures it for. You know, we've got another one coming for my Airstream, but, but right now this is the only one that's out there. So you just can't say when or if or how it it's going to fail, all you can do is look at the current uses, which are greater than what we're using it for, and say that it doesn't fail. Right beneath this top, there's a plastic cover that pops off, and you can operate the pump using a power drill. Awesome. And see, yeah. I mean, it's actually soft enough you could... <laughs> Right. I'm turning it with my hand. So in case of failure, that's your backup. The storage box 
had seen better days. Ronnie cleaned it out and repainted this entire area. You can see that our trailer tongue has a nice fresh coat of paint as well. But we were able to modify that storage box to be able to house the pump and then have the switch on it. So essentially all you really have to do is have a power source, a 12 volt power source inside that battery box. And we were able to do that by running wires in from the inside of the trailer where the lithium batteries are located to the box. And then you just hardwire the pump through a fused circuit and have a switch outside. And then on the front is the hydraulic cylinder. And you can see this really cleans up the front of our Airstream because normally you would have a big motor head right here. And now it's a nice clean look. This is not a cheap upgrade. The parts alone cost around $600. So some of you are asking, why would you do this? Why would you go to the trouble of installing a powerful hydraulic jack. My answer would be, why wouldn't you do it if you can upgrade to a commercial grade piece of gear that is faster, more powerful, and more reliable? These, not so much. We've been through at least four of these electric RV jacks. And this one, for example, lasted less than two years, even though I kept a jack cover on it to protect it from weather. You can't rely on them, unfortunately. I mean, we've had trouble with our electric jacks since day one. Our first electric jack was one of the worst pieces of equipment I've ever owned in my life. It taught me an important lesson. Never trust these devices. They fail and they tend to fail at the worst possible time, like there's nothing more frustrating than you're a thousand miles from home and you go to unhitch your trailer and your jack won't work. Okay, it's not going to do now, is it? It's like so, frozen, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's try plan B. All right. And a lot of these can really be difficult to operate manually. Maybe we've just had bad luck with electric jacks, but it's made me willing to pay for a long-term solution. I would rather pay more up front and get a quality piece of equipment that is not going to fail at an inopportune moment than buy these disposable jacks that have the average lifespan of a house fly. Yeah, it's, you know, the fact that it'll go. Yeah. It's a hydraulic system. It's basically filled with automatic transmission fluid, which is an oil. So you're not gonna have to deal with frictional issues or wearing out of parts. The pump itself is a sealed pump. It's a sealed system, ball bearing driven. So, I mean, I guess you could have a pump failure over time, but I can't imagine that being anything that you have to worry about in any near future. And I really think not only will this prove more reliable, it also has a lot of advantages because of the speed. Because before we're backing into a campsite, I typically like to remove the weight distribution bars. And it's nice to take some of that tension off those bars before removing them from the trailer. And so this is going to make it much easier to drop the foot down, lift up the tongue just a bit, and get those bars off before we back into a campsite. Also just makes it easier hitching and unhitching our trailer. Like to me, it just makes the whole trailer travel experience more enjoyable to have good equipment on it. It really has fewer moving parts than those electric jacks and in theory, it should last longer. Yeah, I mean, it's rated at 8,000 pounds. Typical Airstream tongue weights can be somewhere around 1,000. So, you know, you're not even coming close to what this thing is capable of. I mean, it's gonna live a life of luxury, the easy life. It's like baby girl chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, guys. Our fancy new hydraulic jack on our Airstream. Now these are really not even available for sale, but I do believe Ronnie can custom make them for your trailer. He does primarily Airstream stuff. So if you're interested in getting one of these on your Airstream, sure you can contact him at Airstream Nuts and Bolts. We'll put his contact information below. We just got this on our trailer, so I can't really report too much about how it's performed. The few times that I've used it, I have really liked it very much, and I think we're going to greatly enjoy having it. So as as always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you got a kick out of our Pimp My Trailer episode. Until next time, I'm Sean. This is Long Long Honeymoon, where we say lo lo ho.
If you enjoy the videos that you see here on our channel and you want to help support it and keep it going, then shop our Amazon store. Go to amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon and then once you get in there just go to the search bar to look for whatever you need that Amazon sells. Thanks so much. Lolo.